At what point does a coin become art and it's no longer considered a coin? This is a question that PowerCoin are continually pushing and seeing where the boundary lies. This is the latest and last in the Eternal Sculptures series, the completer for what is a gorgeous and incredible series of special coins. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver and gold. And this week we have another incredible coin, if you can even call it that, to share with you courtesy of PowerCoin, who are an Italian-based numismatic coin dealer. If you've never heard of them or seen them, I would highly recommend them to anybody. I've met the team over there in Rome. They are wonderful, lovely people, and they come up with some incredible coin designs. They don't just sell coins made by other mints. They commission and design and produce their own pieces, and this is one of them. It's absolutely stunning. If you guys, have, by the way, haven't seen the alien coin that we showcased last week, I'll try and remember to put a video link down in the description below. Go check it out. Now, this has not been gifted to me. This has just been sent by PowerCoin. They are a long-term sponsor of our channel. They've been supporting us right from the very beginning, one of the very first companies that um, I contacted out of the blue and just said, could I showcase some coins? And they were very happy to do that. So they've been supporting my channel for a good five years now and a big thank you to them for all of that continued support. Uh, we're not financially tied to the success of this coin. This is really very much just a here, have a look at it. If you like it, then you can go and purchase it. And on that front, they have also created a 5% discount code, which is not an affiliate code. I don't get anything if you purchase the coin using that code. It's just there if you like it to get 5% off as a thank you to our loyal viewers. So it's BB Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-A. All of that's in the description below as well as a link to the PowerCoins website. It's in pre-order and I believe it's around mid-August as a shipping date. COVID pending, of course, as we all have to say in this world. So hopefully, if you are interested, this can be yours within the next couple of weeks and they ship worldwide. So really, really good company. Highly recommend them. Go and check them out if you are so inclined. Now, this is the Eternal Sculptures Completer Coin. 2021 definitely seems to be the year of the Completer Coin. And boy, oh boy, is this pretty and cool. And it's pretty cool at that. Now, the Eternal Sculptures is a series that I have been seeing over this last five years as PowerCoin have been sending me the individual coins in the series as it's gone. And all five of those are commemorated on the back here. Absolutely stunning. I mean, the smart minting technology that is being used here to create this incredible piece of art. Now, this is art. This is art that's made of silver. Um, you shouldn't look at it as bullion if you're just going to sit there and say it's expensive pieces of silver then it's really it, you don't say the same thing about a piece of art about paintings about sculptures you know it's not about the material it's made of it's about the energy the effort the quality the sheer technology that's gone into creating these things and this I mean just look at that how do they do that on this coin I just don't know it's super reflective as well you can see my pepper plants on the windowsill absolutely incredible amounts of detail now this is commemorating uh, the series. This is a completer coin of the series. So my piece of criticism I suppose to come out for this is as with all completer type coins it's like it can be seen as a little bit of uh, like leaving a bad taste in the mouth of collectors who've gone throughout the series to get all of the different coins and then to have one extra one at a different size as well. All the others we're at uh, the two ounce size and now we're at the five ounce size. Uh, so big increase in you know weight and obviously that's going to follow through into price as well. Um, so that's the kind of criticism there. However, when you have something that looks this good, it's kind of like the uh, completer coin for the Queen's Beast series. When you have something that really does look as good as this does, I kind of feel like that criticism maybe sort of pales away into insignificance. So um, very much, you know, looking at this whole series as a whole and what it has to bring to the table. And I think this certainly does bring a big oomph finish to the series. This is now the last of that series, the complete 
coin series. It's commemorating here the ecstasy of St. Teresa, uh, which is a statue by uh, Bernini. And I believe Bernini is one of the names in sort of sculpture, marble sculpture. Uh, I think he was from the 1600s and absolutely incredible amounts of detail have been transposed onto this coin. If you look at the actual image of the statue here, the Ecstasy of St. Teresa, um, you just Google it and you can see just how well this has been replicated. And on the other coins, if we look on the other side, um, one of their key defining features was that when you turned the coin over, you saw the other side of the statue. So like with the Venus de Milo here on the right, if you turned the coin around, you saw the back of the Venus de Milo and the same with all of the other uh, coin designs in this series. Now this is a change of uh, sort of tact on that side. So we don't get to see the opposite side of this particular statue. However, what they have done is they've included this gold gilding on the rays of sunlight. And if you look at the actual image of the sculpture of the Exeter of St. Teresa, it looks almost exactly like that. And in, even down to the point where these little lines that have come through match up with the background. Uh, it is incredible the amount of detail that's gone into this. I absolutely love the bordering around it. It frames it per per yeah, perfectly as well. We've got there the, uh, the fading through of the marble into the borders as well. So it's not just encapsulated there, again, with the robes. I mean, it's super high relief as well. That's one thing that's going to be very difficult to showcase here on the camera. Super high relief. The amount of technology that's gone into creating these is incredible. With that very, very nice finish on the marble. Sometimes, you know, colour coins and affected coins with gold gilding and marbling or whatever it might be uh, can look somewhat tacky. This very much not at all. Uh, on the reverse, again, with the five different coins. And this is what's, I think, really impressive is that these coins, they're, they're essentially the same design as we had for the first issuings of them, but they've just been shrunk down. Uh, and let me tell you, this doesn't do it justice. The camera, I really don't think, is going to do it justice as to what this looks like in real life with the light playing off the different relief parts of the coins with the, uh, you know, these five in sort of, it, they really are very high relief. It's very difficult to show that here on camera without really kind of, dropping the coin, petrified of dropping this uh, and damaging it. It's absolutely stunning. Really is incredible the amount of effort that's gone into this. Um, chunky as well at five ounces. Uh, I don't believe there is a serial number on the rim. We're going around the whole thing now. No, there isn't. So this mintage is uh, at 499. So low mintage again. Now at the 600 euro point mark, this is of course an expensive piece of silver, an expensive coin. It's not going to be for everybody. That's what I've said continually about these uh, types of releases from PowerCoin and other organizations that do similar coins. But there is a market for them. And this is most certainly something that I think will be on the radar of, it's not even just about collectability now. It's, it's moving into this art form. And I think that there is also definitely going to be a market for just having a coin that is this incredibly well made, this incredible technology that goes into it. So that's definitely going to play a factor into this particular piece. So all in all, I think this is absolutely wonderful, a great way to finish uh, this incredible series from PowerCoin, the Eternal Sculptures. Um, and it's really nice to see uh, it's, it's weird almost to see a series through to completion with uh, with PowerCoin. Uh, really is stunning, and I have to congratulate them on the way it looks. Uh, really, really good. Now, just for uh, everybody out there who is interested in this, uh, as I said, there is that 5% uh, discount code BB Teresa. Um, there will be a display box that comes with it. Now, I do have the display box. Uh, I didn't get it out for the video, perhaps I should have done, but it, the problem is with the display box is that it's a prototype and the prototype box, uh, the, ca the capsule um, hole wasn't quite right. That of course will be right when the whole thing is released. Um, so it's just a bit awkward to have it in and not quite fitting right. So from that perspective, uh, I think it's an incredible package deal. It's really very nice indeed. And if you've definitely got the, the other ones in the series, it'd be well worth getting hold of uh, along the way. So really, really incredible. And a big thank you to PowerCoin for sharing this with us by sending it to me to have a look. As I said, I'm not tied financially to this uh, coin at all. The discount code really is just there to give you guys 5% off if you want it. Uh, and give them a big shout out down in the comment section. I know they take feedback on board from all of the different comments that they see and read in these videos. So please feel free to let 
us and PowerCoin know what you think about this particular coin, even if it's not for you, even if you think it's just a little bit too expensive, too rich for your tastes. Just let us know what you think of the aesthetics, the design, the finish. All of these things are really important pieces of feedback for PowerCoin to, ha to have and to hear. Thank you again to PowerCoin for their long-term sponsorship. It's not possible without you guys watching videos. Uh, so a big thank you to you guys as well. If you've enjoyed this as we've gone through, then make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That really helps everything that we do here on the channel. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend ahead. We'll see you on the next video. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.